Walter Scott. Walter Scott. It was an amazing scene. Tuesday night's peaceful Black Lives Matter vigil in Boise exceeded all expectations. And for the thousands who were there, it was an incredible inspiration. It was a night of Idahoans coming together in support of the black community around the country and right here. And it was a moment that turned up on national television shows for days. You might be wondering, who were the people behind this vigil and how did they pull it together so quickly and so seamlessly? Our Maggie O'Mara caught up with them for tonight's Sevens Hero. Let our evening together be a night of mourning and of healing. Jesse Levin and Whitney Mistel are the women behind Boise's Black Lives Matter vigil. They were blown away by the turnout. So tell me what you thought, the two of you, when people just kept pouring in. How many were you expecting? And I could just see the, the, the hundreds of people walking in. Um, it was pretty overwhelming. It was very overwhelming um, in, a, in a great way. <laughs> Yeah, Idaho definitely showed up. Thousands of people gathered in front of our Capitol building to say Black Lives Matter. We are proud of my women. We hear you and we see you. It was incredible for Jesse and Whitney to see. They put this together in just over 48 hours. Last week, um, I had just, I was feeling so many emotions. Um, about everything that was happening. Um, I almost broke down crying in my car and I just, I, it just didn't feel right to be mourning alone. So I had called Whitney and um, kind of pitched this idea to her and then we sat down on Sunday, packed out some ideas and it just got big. It got huge that we wanted to be peaceful, we didn't want it to be a protest or a rally, and so how to make that happen, um, we knew it was going to be difficult, especially with what's going on around around um, the country. We had some other people come on at the end um, in the last 36 hours and really um, spread some resources our way. Um, we had a large group of volunteers come out. It blew up very quickly. I just told her we can do it, let's do it, and we did it. Tell me what you're feeling right now after pulling this off? I am just, just so thankful to be heard, to, to feel like Idaho and the people of Boise and this community were willing and ready to listen to people of color um, and genuinely want to impact change in their circles and in their community. What do you want to say to them? What do you want to say to the people who came? First and foremost, thank you. I am just really thankful that Boise showed up in a way that so many other cities have not been able to do. Immensely grateful for that, so thank you. We saw them and we heard them, and we feel like that Boise and Idaho are with us in wanting to make impactful change. I want to encourage them to kind of dig deep and to not be afraid of having these hard conversations. Now, the question is, what's next? How will they keep this momentum going? What's next for me is a lot of conversations, getting together with people, with community members um, and leaders who want to impact change and to make sure that people of color in this community feel more welcome and more, more heard and receive less bias. Jesse Levin and Whitney Mistel brought our community together. I'm proud of Boise. I'm inspired um, and I'm looking towards a peaceful future in which we can affect peaceful and meaningful change. They are Seven's Heroes.